morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you all. So we did go to Dollar Tree the other day. My car's been in the shop. The AC went out last last Sunday and so I've been in a rental. But we don't live in town. And so, I don't want to come all the way home and then have to go all the way back to town. So, I've just been kind of piddling in town in the evenings, waiting to see if they're going to call and say the car's ready. I just saw that's crooked. Um, sorry about that. So, I was piddling in town, and so I stopped by the Dollar Tree. I've still been looking for some of the stuff that I had on my wish list that I can't find. I don't know why, why, why? Can't they all get the same things at the same time? Good gravy. Anyway, so enough of my chitter chatter. Let's see what we got. So first off, I got new stickers. Like I needed new stickers. But these are just super really cute, cute, cute. I got these. I got some like little like top wine bottles with some flowers in them. Aren't those precious? I got some cacti's. Thought those were cute. Hold on. I can feel feel my my watch vibrating. Okay. I got some. I think these are pansies. Those are super cute. And then I picked up these. So I don't think I got every single one of them. I didn't like all of them, but man, these are really cute. And they're like um, 3D, I guess. I don't know. Or not 3D, but dimensional. I don't know if you can tell that. Anyway, so super cute, nice stickers. These are, oh, they're called pop-ups, and they each have different amount of stickers on there. 10, 7, 9, 8, 13. Anyway, so different sets of stickers. I got these file folders. You get three of them. They're pretty thin file folders. They're not like the manila kind that are pretty stout. These are fairly fairly thin like they're not gonna hold much but to use for um, for like the planter dividers or for um, oh man, um, planter covers they'll be good they're real pretty too I got some other sets of them Dang, Gina. Okay. These are the other sets that I found. And I didn't get all of them either because they're, there's just different ones. So these are probably my favorite. And then these. And I'm not even sure I like that, so I don't know why I got it. Go figure. So, anyway, I picked up these. And then, as y'all know, because I've said it a million times, I feel like on this channel, in life, just... Okay, so we're going to Disney. And we're super excited. But we want to make a, a bag, like a welcome to Disney bag, I guess, for my granddaughter to have in the room. That way, when she gets there, um, there'll be this extra special bag. So, when we went to... The Dollar Tree, they had some books, and these are over 400 stickers, and it's just amazing quality, and who would thought you could find this for a dollar? It's got, like, repositionable pages where you can make scenes with the stickers. I feel like, I don't know, maybe, maybe once you stick them down, you can't lift them back up. I don't know, but I just think it's so cool, the quality of these you get like a lot. Look at all that. Oh crap. Okay, let's try this again. 
sticker it. Okay. This one's just got... Anyway. Aw. There's some more, like, stickable scenes. These would have been... I don't know. Anyway, those are pretty cool. Really super, super cool. So we got her this to put in her bag. And she got Zootopia. We picked her up Zootopia. Um... My my youngest daughter's 18th birthday was Zootopia, <laughs> and uh, anyway, this is what we got. We like Zootopia. My youngest daughter is a military police, and so this is just, I don't know, this is just cool. But anyway, and she's getting to meet us for Disney. And so maybe they can do a little bit of this with together. So that one's Zootopia. So that's awesome. We picked her up some mini jumbo playing cards. We picked up some Velcro dots. I don't know. I don't even know what I need them for. Probably don't need them. But anyway, I picked them up. I saw them and. So that, there you go. <laughs> All right. And last but not least is some books that I found. Um, I love looking at the Dollar Tree books and I always find more than I need. So, and this trip was no different. Um, I got tequila. Let's see. This book retailed for $18.95. Since here's the the flap. Let's see if I can turn it like this and do a flip through. lighting is horrible so different kind of recipes lots of pictures I'm not even a really a big fan of tequila but I like this book and it could go um, you know there where we have like our bar type situation anyway okay so that's that next I got this flea market finds with Matthew Mead Hundreds of simple DIY ideas for transforming old treasures. So, I picked this up. It retailed for $14.95 originally. And, let's see. Give you a flip through. Anyway, that would be cool to look through. Look through this one. Next one is uh, Ultimate Recycled Style Guide. Thr thrifty Treasures Room by Room Guide Inspired DIYs. Here's this one. This one was $19.95 when it originally sold. So really cool. Let's see if we can do another flip through. Anyway, pretty cool stuff. I want to check that one out too. And then last but not least, you guys, I found this book. And it is called Cook It Raw. And it says, Cook It Raw is a unique dining experience that sees the world's most exciting chefs come together to explore social, cultural, and environmental issues through food. Created in 2009. I think this originally was $49.95. The story behind the world's most talked about chefs gathering with contributions from leading chefs and food writers. 
Here's the front of it. And I have been waiting to do this haul so we can open the book. How odd. This is probably the most expensive book I've ever gotten at the Dollar Tree. I can open it. Come on. And I don't want to mess it up. Okay, let's do it. Oh, shoot. Sorry guys. I didn't mean to I didn't mean to jostle y'all. And I'm still jostling y'all. Okay. Wow. Let's see. Ooh. That's really bright. Let's see what it's about. Well, oh, crap. It's so big, I don't know what to do with it. Almost looks like it's by region. Let's see. So this is really cool. Hmm. That looks like like an autograph of from the chefs. How cool is that? So. Wow. Let me just add this. Hmm. This is really cool, guys. A lot of really nice pictures. Cook it raw. Finland. Okay. Let's see. Okay. It's like, this one is Finland, I guess. And then... <clears throat> Let me see. Oh, crap's falling out of it. Okay. I don't know. This is so crazy to me. People's names are like marked out and stuff. I don't know. Gives you a little a little synopsis, I guess, of what they did. Here's some more information. Shows you the region here. Wow. Wow. It gives you all kinds of history, I guess, about the area or about what they went through. I'm going to have to check this out, guys. This is a really cool book. It was the only one that they had. Mm. Anyway, so that is super cool. Awesome, awesome. That is probably the best, or the like I said, well I already said, that was the most expensive book I've ever bought at, at, at the dollar store. $49.95 USA money. Pretty cool. Per, pretty darn cool. So, y'all, that is my haul, y'all. <laughs> anyway, so... I'm still in the search for macaroons. I'm still in the search for those uh, like modern horses and rhinos and all those critters that they have, the little ceramic ones, the amper stamp, the and sign and the at sign, I guess, not amper stamp. I don't know. At sign and I don't know. I've been to three stores and then none of them have it. So go figure. Anyway, but I'm still on the search for them and I will not stop talking about them. I see everybody else hauling them, but we don't have them. We don't even have like the stores I've been don't don't even have the display. Like everybody else shows them. They're like on this like glass shelf display type situation. My stores don't even have that thing. So, maybe that's why we don't have the products, because we don't have the stand to put them on. Who knows? I don't know. I don't get it. Why can't Dollar Tree just an error by the same stuff? <sighs> anyway. 
please give me a thumbs up if you like my video. <laughs> or, well, yeah, my video, that's true. My haul, y'all. If you like my haul, please give me a thumbs up. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, what you waiting for? I'd love to have you part of my YouTube friends and family. So y'all take care. Bye.